Okay, I have another integral here today from the MIT integration B 2017, number six. We have the integral from one to infinity, one over x times x squared plus one dx. Okay, to get started with this, I just noticed x squared plus one here. It's making me think trig substitution, even though we've got this x. So let's give that a try. We'll set x equal to tan of t. Then we'll take a derivative on this. Our dx value is just gonna become secant squared t dt. And then while we're at it, I, I don't know if we need it, but let's get a value for t. So I can take arctan on both sides. So t is just gonna be arctan of x. Then we go ahead and substitute. First, looking at infinity, plugging it right here, arctan of infinity is gonna be happening at pi over two. Then for one, arctan of one is just gonna be pi over four. Our dx value is secant squared t dt, our x is gonna be tan t. Now, for this part right here, for x squared plus one, let's get that value as well. So like x squared plus one is gonna be tan squared t plus one. But we have the identity tan squared t plus one, that's just gonna be the same thing as secant squared of t. So let's plug that in right here. We're gonna have secant squared t in the denominator. So then secant squareds are gonna cancel here tan of t, I can write that as cotangent of t, but you know, I think let's write it, but I think instead let's write it in terms of cosines and sines, I think. So we'll do it as cosine t over sine of t for cotangent. Then let's just do the u sub in our head because if sine of t is gonna be u, then cosine t dt is gonna be du. So then when we integrate this, we're just gonna have natural log absolute value sine t, but sine's always positive here, so let's drop the absolute value and just evaluate from pi over four to pi over two. Evaluating at pi over two, sine pi over two is gonna be one, so we have just natural log of one there. Sine at pi over four, that's gonna be square root of two, so we're gonna have natural log one over square root of two. Now this value, natural log of one is just zero, that's going away. The minus sign in front, I can bring it to the exponent used to flip this and get the reciprocal. And so for my final solution, we have just natural log square root of two. Okay, there you go. Quick one today from MIT 2017. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.